Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Welcome back to Hank Strange. I'm Hank Strange. We've got Walter Keller of Safety Harbor Firearms joining us here. And we're talking about what would Stoner do the rifle. The rifle. Yes. So the complete rifle. There's some iterations, the KP-15 lower stock combo that you could get, right? Correct. And all of these have that and basically built off of that from, from what we're looking at. Right, Walt? Yes. Now, you made one and you called yours what? What would Walt do? Boom! <laughs> and yes. what did you do, Walt? Well, what I did was, yeah. I was thinking, So here's well, yours. Yeah, obviously I don't at? want to, obviously I don't want to try to knock off what would Stoner do. So what I did was, I was thinking, well, how can I make this different? Well, I've always wanted a side charger. Mm -hmm. So I got a Bear Creek Arsenal side charging uh, upper. This, I happen to have this ATI lightweight handguard, mm -hmm. 15 inch, I believe it is. Uh, pencil thin barrel, can't remember where I got it from, but I think I bought it at Knob Creek a couple years ago. Imagine that. And then I got a Gemtech uh, uh, muzzle brake test. That your Gemtech can use. My can slides connect, quick disconnect type mm -hmm. thing. Yes. And then some Magpul sights for the time being. Standard AR trigger components inside and an arm, is it Armatech buffer assembly. Okay. Which is a spring, the you know, all in one spring buffer. Yeah. Okay. So your bolt is a sp uh, specific thing because of the side. Uh, yes, charger, because yeah. of the side. That came with the, uh, the upper. Yes, okay. correct. Very yeah. good. So what weight did you come up to here? We actually weighed all of these. This one came in at about 5, what, what? five pounds, 12 ounces? Yeah, well, about 5, 12, yeah. Okay. That's not bad. No. All right? Yeah. No, it's, Pretty it's got good. a light feel about it. Yeah. 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 So um, Probably one of the heavier things about it is this upper assembly here. Right, because this is aluminum. Yep, yep. Yeah, yep. well, this is aluminum too. Yeah, it's and you got your pencil. Yeah. I mean, your barrel's going to be most of your weight in the bolt yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, if I. Uh, Still good though. 512? This, yeah, this brake is probably a little. Well, I don't know. I didn't weigh the brake to compare it against the standard mm -hmm. um, A2 style brake. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with the way it came out. Yeah, yeah it's not going to be super far off of no. it. So good job. And relatively, mm -hmm. you know, money wise, relatively inexpensive too. Yeah, what do you think? What would you guesstimate you spent on this? Uh, What's a KP15? Lower. I ordered this from Brown Arrows early on. I think it was uh, my cost was I think it was dealer cost was ninety five somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. Maybe right say say a hundred dollars with the shipping and everything. Mm -hmm. Hundred. Um, this runs dealers like one thirty five, two thirty five. Just say three, four, five. Probably around six hundred dollars for the whole gun. For the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's dealer. Uh, someone out yeah, there some doing are, it. Some Add another five, six hundred bucks. No, no. Some yeah. retail prices. Some. Uh, <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, they do get more for this on their website, Bear Creek Arsenal, but um, mm -hmm. overall, I mean, I didn't get any squeaking, squealing, squealing. These have been on sale cheaper than what I paid for it when I ordered it, so. Okay. But anyways, yeah, I mean, say if you say $600, say if you say 650 Yeah. Not I'm bad. I'm happy with it, yeah. Yeah. Now, let's go to mine, the what would Hank Strange do, WWHSD. So, obviously, the same KP-15, which I got from Brownells, big shout out and thanks to brownells for sending you know sending that out and this was the complete one okay. i'm not sure what that is probably four or five hundred bucks on this at least four three something on there yeah, thing complete so the complete yeah it looks like it's going to be about 250 something okay, like that yeah, yeah. yeah so and then i put a magnesium upper on here which i got from you so free well, some trading. I bought it on sale. I got a good deal on it, so yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a Fostec. Shout out to Fostec. Yeah. Um, you know, one of our favorite companies here. Um, and, you know, RIP Judd. We lost Judd last year. Then the upper part of this is actually a Liberty Suppressor Zulu, which is a titanium upper that they do. And, um, and then for that, I think we use, this looks like, I want to say this is the Midwest Industries. Yeah, Midwest Industries rail and the titanium upper. I sent some parts to them. Typically, you can get this whole thing from them. That itself is about $16.99. Cost some money. 
integrally suppressed yeah upper so that's what you get out of it i've got a hollow sun on it uh, and i think i've got regular trigger parts what did this come in at when we weighed it just a, a hair under six pounds like five pounds 15 ounces yeah. i think no you came in at yeah uh, 515 y yep no that was uh, what would yeah uh, yeah 515 well, well. yours was yours was oh, okay, lighter 512 yeah you're coming a little bit heavier but you got yeah. a lot more going on up here. yeah a so, couple yeah. of ounces but integrally suppressed on this one yeah yeah yeah. so i don't have to put on a can because it already has right, a can right, right. but this one would be more expensive because this to do this whole thing you're probably looking in 2500 yeah yeah ish. <laughs> <laughs> kaboom you blow them both worth out it. of water yeah. very worth it though uh, liberty makes awesome stuff so then do you want to pick up and show the folks we've got the actually what the actual do? yeah i mean we've got the patch and everything from brownells brownells sent us this what would stoner do rifle and this is like in collaboration with the in range tv guys right yep correct yeah and what would they do what have they done they got that same lower that we're using They've got some uh, much better, fancier uh, trigger components. I forget what mm -hmm. the actual ones are, like ambidextrous safety. Yeah. Um, they're running their... There's uh, no, uh, no, forward no forward assist. No forward assist on the upper. So I guess you save a little bit of weight to the air. Well, yeah, that's what... Uh, uh, Sonar didn't like the forward assist, didn't think it was necessary. Yeah, they've got some videos on this stuff. Yes, they do. You get pencil thin barrel. Uh, yeah. And then uh, carbon fiber on the Carbon handguard. fiber handguard, woo! Yeah and an a2 style muzzle brake which on is the, the best muzzle brake to be honest with you unless you want like you know yeah it's 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 if you're trying to get one of those fancy like if you want um like uh what like an actual brake that's a muzzle device i should say but yeah. the, if you want an actual brake oh, to give you some more accuracy and all that you who's, know uh, who's who's uh is this i forget this is uh this came this came with the gun i'm not sure exactly da is that D A B A? Mm. I can't remember exactly who it is that made that, battle but arms? it is marked. Uh, what would Stoner do yeah. on it? Okay, fancy. Uh, it could be could be battle arms. I'm not 100 percent sure. There's a skull right there. This itself is 16.99, so the same price as my upper <laughs> for this. Just yeah. Yeah, so not bad, not bad uh, pricing on it. And this weighed in at like what five pounds, five zero point two uh, ounces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So pretty much we wow. could say this is like five pounds. Yes, yeah. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's not blood on my hands. That's from a previous. Uh, <laughs> we shot some things with paint. 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 Yeah. But um, um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, you can feel it. It's definitely light. I mean, you know, it's uh, it is what it is. Oh, um, also we got to forgot to mention the um, lightweight bolt. Yeah. Well, it's it's just a chrome, chrome plated mm -hmm. bolt, which is what Stoner used on the original. Yeah. The original guns, and then yeah. Colt in the process of trying to cheapen it messed it up. Oh, I see. Um, that's what happened with that. So yeah. I it's tried. It's a nice gun. I like how. Oh yeah, yeah. They, you know, how actually, for mine, I tried to find the. Um, here, hold this for a second. I sure. tried to find the. Um, well, using this Bear Creek Arsenal upper, I couldn't use. I couldn't use a. Um, excuse me. This is Hank's gun. This is not mm -hmm. my gun. No. Sorry. No. Pardon. Pardon. Yeah. It looks I, awesome. That's why I picked it up. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. I. We're I gonna actually, let the people vote on which one is the most awesome one. The. The peeps. The Hank you, you're just one. trying to put me down. That's all you're yeah. trying to do. Um, <laughs> Originally, I was going to do it with a regular upper, and I was trying to find a uh, chrome-plated uh, bolt mm -hmm. like that. The people who had it wanted a second mortgage for it, and, <laughs> I, and I would have had to get a second mortgage on my car and my house to get it. Right. So I sure. decided against it, you know. Yeah. So I think this is nitrided, so nitriding works pretty well for everything. So, yeah. so when, you, when it comes to the price of what this is, I know we've had some conversations. Do you yeah. think it's worth it? Uh, $16.99? Uh, if, if you can't build it yourself, mm -hmm. I would say yes. Yeah, 16.99 is not bad. It's a high yeah, end. Yeah, AR. I mean, if you can, you can get if you more can, expensive than that. If you, yeah, if you, if you can assemble the parts yourself and gather them and source them yeah. and put it together, you probably save some money on it and do it right. yourself. But a lot of people aren't that. I hate to say it, aren't that uh, skilled. Yeah. So. And this is kind of a collectible. I think it's cool. Well, it's marked. Yes, it's marked yeah. for that. Yeah. All the, yeah. you know, if you're a fan of the in-range TV guys, which yeah. we, I think we both are, they've got I cool watch, stuff. I they watch. I watch. Yeah, watch Ian a lot on Forgotten yeah, Weapons. Ian's so. awesome. And they really put a lot of thought into this. Like I've seen some of the videos that they've done that in-range TV, not just Ian, the other guys have done, and I think it's good stuff. I think they put some actual thought no, I behind mean, he, what they did. Ian has some. I'm, I'm like a Forgotten Weapons guy. I like mm -hmm. just the oddball. Uh, military guns and stuff like that that yeah. it comes across yeah so um it's yeah good stuff yeah. so we haven't shot you haven't shot yours right i have not shot it outside 
No. I shot it in the bullet trap. Bullet trap. We haven't shot this because Brownell sent it in to us. You haven't shot that at all? No, not oh. at all, man. This just came mint out of the box. Me neither. Of course, my awesomeness, I shot, and there's a whole video on it, which everyone loves, because they're like, wow, that's the most fantastic. Uh, there are a lot of people saying that Brownell should build one of these. You know, they, this, this, you know. Is, this is easy to ship to someone, and their <laughs> FFL just takes months. Yeah. <laughs> so There is a difference. Yeah. Do you want to put a can on yours? We'll shoot ours, uh, and then lastly, we'll shoot this, I both of us. That. I can do that. Yeah, yep. put a can up on yours, and I'll put a can up on mine, and we'll, and we'll shoot it. And we'll get down to business. Yours already has a can. Oh, that's true. Mine already has a can, Walt, so I beat you right there. Extra points. I totally forgot about that just now. No, that was deliberate. That was very deliberate that I said that. You won't let me forget. Not really. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> not really. Not really. All right. I'm going to go for this. Uh, There's a Bureau of Propaganda. Yeah. yeah. Here, I'm going to take that. Okay. Let's shoot down there. Let me get my ears just in case. Uh, I mean, I haven't heard it without it, so. Mine is really quiet. Go for it. But I would always wear my air protection because I already have tinnitus, uh, but it does help, you know, to have a suppressor on there. And this gets hot. This gets hot, I could just say that much for you. So, all right. Oh, I'm going first? Yes, you are. All right, let's do this. Really smoky. Oh my god. <laughs> very, sp very spicy. I'm literally in tears. Didn't that sound awesome? It sounds like, yeah. I mean, like you said, I think. You know? And my Hollow Sun 512C, man. Right on yeah. point. It's right right on, on point, point, sir. Right on point. Huh? On point. All right, let's see you shoot yours. All right, I, like I said, I haven't even fired this outside, so. Let's make sure she's. Uh, Everything's cool. Yeah, you don't want to bump into my can. I'm sure it's hot. No. All right. I have no idea. Uh, where's that hostage? Let's see here. Oh. Pretty much on. Yeah. I'm starting to get a... Uh, huh. Okay, we gotta. It's going up. Oh, there we go. Now we're empty. All right, so not bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it it shot pretty good. I think I didn't have any problems with mine, so I'm gonna say mine should get extra points there. At least Walter one. Didn't have any problems with his either. No, well, not you... really. Let me. This is a, one of the Korean mags that's been in the market lately. Let me grab the Magpul mag. I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, now you got to go to a Magpul mag. Why? I'm just using regular old GI mags, you know. Yeah, the one you took from me. So mm -hmm. <laughs> now we're gonna we're gonna actually try the the what would Stoner do? Oh yeah. See yeah. how that is. Now that's not you know. Let's be honest. It's not suppressed. So that's gonna be a little gonna be a little different here but uh you know other than that um it's a really nice lightweight rifle go for it i will pardon moi i will take it. very light you could you pick it up you could feel that lightness in there which is cool can't knock that can't knock the hustle i don't know this is walter's famous EOTech that we just dropped on there, so on I have everything. No... It shoots on everything, so <laughs> I have no idea. Might want to take that off. Over. Okay. The recoil's a little bit more. You can well, feel that a little weight. bit because it's lighter, yeah. Lighter weight. But nice. All right, you want to try it? Sure. Go for it. What would Stoner do if Walt had his hands on it? Let's see here. Not two and well, I have. We only shot one mag through it. Yeah. It's a little warm up here. Twenty rounds. We didn't even fully load up the magazine. Yeah. We are shooting Fort Scott munitions. Uh -oh. There is a uh, code that you guys can use. Hank ten and save yourself some money.
My eyes be watering. I don't even got a can on it, man. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, so having shot the Woodwood Stoner, what do you think about it? It's nice. It's light. Yeah. There's a little more felt yeah. recoil because of the lightness of the of the, yeah. of the gun. But I mean, if you had to tote it all day, um, it would definitely come be an advantage. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he would have done this type of handguard on it because carbon fiber. Yeah, because it gets extremely warm. Oh yeah, it's it, yeah, it is. You'd have warm. to have a uh, what do you call it on it? A, a, yeah. a heat shield or something. Yeah, on it. we're but, not going crazy into shooting these right now. Still, ammo is not where I would really like it to be, <laughs> and we're not getting a lot of ammo. Like even our ammo is from Fort Scott, but yeah. we're not getting a lot of that coming in. But yeah, it is heating up, so we would have to see. Like if we put a thou, that's what I would really want to see with this being a pencil barrel. And then this handguard, if we put a thousand rounds through it, would we have any problems? What do you think? It would, uh, uh, well, any, anything you put a thousand, I mean, at, right, one right after another, a thousand rounds? Yeah, I mean, come on, that's standard. That's not, you know, if you're in a real, <laughs> a thousand really rounds? In it, yeah, come on, a thousand rounds, that's a standard test. Torture uh, test, yeah, right? Yeah, it'd definitely torture it for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, any, uh, anything, standard, I've seen other rifles do a thousand rounds. Yeah, any any, yeah. Uh, any of them would uh, mm -hmm. be extremely hot, so yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, just the design. It's just a, how does it hold up under that? Like, how does the, the pencil, pencel barrel, barrel, you know, yeah, what, well, kind of, what kind of accuracy do you get uh, over, you know, yeah. shooting that much ammo? Are you practically going to do that much shooting? No. I mean, even if you're training, you might be doing, I would but say, not, somewhere between three and 500 rounds yeah, a you, day. You could do 1,000 rounds in a weekend training. Yes. That's, yeah. That's, yes, yes. So, I mean, look, I put 20 rounds through this, and this is hot, so. But it's aluminum, you know. Um, yeah, you put 20 rounds through yours. It's got, yeah, yours is doing a little bit better. But, but I but, have the heat, you know, you have the heat source a yeah. quarter inch from your, or less from the, right. the handguard, so that's why yeah. it's so hot. This thing is really hot. If that was underneath there, it'd be just as hot, so. Yeah. I think they did a good job on this. I've got no problems with it. I like what I did here myself. I think that kind of makes it unique. It is more expensive. And I also really like what you did, man. Side charging. How does it feel to yeah. you? No, I like it. I mean, yeah. I got to shoot it some more. And without the can on, it's a whole nother experience because you don't have the extra pressure and, the, yeah. and you're not huffing as much uh, fumes and stuff like that mm -hmm. either. So Yeah. Yeah, I think you... One I thing think I noticed about up. this when I was shooting, mm -hmm. though, I was all of a sudden I was just like overcome with a... A lot of gas? Yeah. I yeah, I noticed what, that from when you... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. But, I didn't uh, notice it as much as when I was shooting. I wonder if that's because you're a lefty. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Mine had the most gas. Well, of course. I was because crying you got... when I was shooting that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, integrally suppressed, you're going to get a lot of gas. Yeah. I would probably change out this and put in like what, something that helps to bleed out the gas a little. I don't know how much that's really going to help. I mean, help, that's one of the advantages I have in this. You don't get as much of the... The gas out the back, yeah. but still. What would you say about these polymer stocks? Because I don't really think there's much to argue with here, right? This is all cool stuff. Right, right, right. Other people have done pretty much what's up here already. Back here is really the very interesting part to me, the KP-15 side of this. What do you think about that? No, they're cool. I mean, yeah. as long as you're not a, uh, you know, a fussy about your grips and your mm -hmm. stock and your face and all that. Yeah. I mean, this has a butt pad in the back where you can use for storage. These mm -hmm. two don't. Yeah, you could put, you could do QD though. Yeah, and you could do slings. Yeah, in right. That's that stuff too. Yeah. You yeah, know, this uh, stuff all holds up good. I know I, there's people who worry about it, but to me, it looks good. It holds up good. Yeah, and I, I don't feel I need the adjustability. Go ahead. I see this kind of a lower in a build, like coming more like a mine where you'd be handing that out to security people and people mm -hmm. like that. It's not going. They're not going on a thousand mile march mm -hmm. to the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, not that it wouldn't hold up, but I would see it's like a, a, a lower cost uh, gun you could issue to people. Oh, I see. That's what mm -hmm. I see it for. And then, you know, by not having all that extra stuff you can mm -hmm. monkey with and come loose, mm -hmm. you have less things to break, in my opinion. I mean, uh, grips come and loose, and you know, the more things you have let people monkey with, like mm -hmm. uh, you know, screws in the back for the... For the for the for the uh, spring key, the you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the buffer, the, the tube, buffer tube, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. I think it simplifies it a bit. So um, mm -hmm. there's advantages to it, especially cost-wise. If you're trying to, if you were trying to arm a bunch of people, so mm -hmm. uh, not that we're doing that. But. Yeah. So now I noticed on yours there is no forward assist. Nope. On the what would Stoner do the in range TV? Taking it off. No forward assist here. It's marked actually. Right. Uh, mine there is a forward assist. What do you think about that? I'm I I'm well, okay with forward assist. Some people technically say, forward assist. Yeah. I've got one. Okay. 
right here. Oh, the charging handle, yeah. If yeah. I have to, I can always jam that forward. And right. Use that as the forward assist. My stoner wasn't a big uh, supporter of this. He didn't mm -hmm. think it was necessary. Now, what, I have seen people use them, and I, even I've used it myself, but not a lot. I would admit to someone out there who's like, well, how much have you used that? Uh, Probably I've used it in the whole time of me shooting over the last 10 years. I've used forward assist like three or four times. I probably have yeah. at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe I shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You know, some things are getting jammed. You're like, oh, you just yeah, smack don't it. force it to Maybe happen. I'm jamming that funny round in there yeah. even worse where it won't go off, even yeah. if I jam it on some, but, right. you know. I don't know how true it is, but I saw Kyle Rittenhouse talking about that he was using, he used his forward assist. And, uh, you know, he's not a super combat veteran, but he went through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, his moments, and he yeah. used it. And, and in that moment, it saved him, right? Because the thing that you're supposed to do, which is right, if you have a problem, you might want to take it apart or whatever, except if you're in the heat of the moment. <laughs> well, there are times when, you, okay, for example, you're, hey, let's see if I got a round in the chamber. And you do this stuff, and then it doesn't close all the way. Mm -hmm. And you go, and if it doesn't close on an AR all the way, and you pull a trigger, hammer's not going to hit it. So you're going to need that point just to give it a quick jam first, and you can, instead mm -hmm. of having to completely dump the round and go to another one. Mm -hmm. I had it happen on an HK91 one time, obviously a different system. I had checked, oh, let me see what's in the round in there, and it didn't, it didn't close all the way, and I had to shoot something with it, mm -hmm. an animal. And I had mm -hmm. to actually rack the thing and dump that round out and put a fresh one. There's no forward assist on a 91. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I didn't have any choice. Yeah, once again, it's one of those things that it really comes down to for people what they want to do. But I would think just from looking at what everyone says out there, what you're saying, you don't really need it, right? In a sporting mode thing and most of the time doing like this, no, you don't need it. Yeah. How come we still see them out there, though? Because that's the forging that everybody makes. Oh. Okay. I mean, Makes there sense. are there are non-assist forgings, and people are, are as, as a, a mm -hmm. boutique thing, they make the non-assist uppers mm -hmm. for the for the retro stuff. But yeah. run of the mill is all forward assist. What I would like to see that you did on your gun and ARs, like if you're talking about modern or pushing AR forward, is the um, side, side charging. charging. Yes, yeah. I would like to see it. I think for me, being uh, someone who my I'm rightly handed which is properly handed ah you know i'm not okay. afflicted with left-handedness ah. it'd be nice to have it on the left side well, of the some gun. of this can work <laughs> both our paws <laughs> true true uh, but, but no, that is something i would like to see how come we don't see that more bear creek does have a, a, a right uh i would say a left side charging mm -hmm. uh upper they make now too mm -hmm. I, d I didn't realize that until actually i bought that so okay no worries no worries yeah all very cool. All right, thanks so much. I think for the folks out there, if you want to see more stuff from Safety Harbor Firearms, where can they go? You can check us out on Safety uh, on, on Instagram, Sorry. Facebook, and uh, YouTube. <laughs> right. Uh, nah, 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 nah. We've been out here all day. Yeah, and then videos. there's also uh, our other company, StenParts.com, uh, sells Sten stuff. And uh, I'm working on that whole YouTube thing and all that stuff too. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. Absolutely. So if you want to see us in the podcast that we do with Babyface P, we got lots of other people joining us there on the podcast. We've got guest companies, all kinds of folks on there. You can see it live on Utreon because we can actually handle these guns and show stuff to you. So we're using Utreon, U-T-R-E-O-N. That's where it is for everyone who's looking for that. We typically do it Monday to Friday around the holidays and stuff like that. We take a bunch of days off, but that's where you go. And then we put it up on YouTube after that. So thanks to Walter. Thanks to Lola on the camera. We'll see you guys. We're out of here. Peace. Good day. Make sure to check out handstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.